certainly have something to get off my chest. See, I was caught in a draft and got cold feet when you monkey around in the winter time. I've eaten in for weeks, so don't believe foolishness. The doc says I haven't been wearing enough clothes, but I have a coat on my tongue and my breath comes in short pants. So here's where I get plastered. And the only thing that will get that plaster off my chest is plenty of warm sunshine and some coconut milk. So, we're off to the sunny south. Now the temperature's around 100. Not my temperature, of course. And then I get some vitamins A, B, C, and P, E, P. I'm afraid the pet will cause trouble. When those vitamins begin to work, I feel like a new heavyweight champ instead of a lightweight chimp. But I keep on pretending that I'm still sick, just waiting for a chance to monkey around and look for some real food. Coconut milk, that's what I want. And this doesn't taste anything like coconuts. Look! Ah, this is my chance. I'm on my way. Look out, co and there's some all piled up. Coconuts, eh? They grow hard down here, or somebody's trying to make a chump out of me. Hey, inside, open up. Uh-oh, a jail. Never mind, I, I don't want to come in. This smells like those black coconuts. There's some connection anyhow. Just as I did. She thought I was another chimp. And she's writing home that she has found my twin brother. I'll have to stop that. I don't want to be twins. Just being one chimp keeps a fella plenty busy. And that's when she begins to smell a rat. All chimps may look alike, but after all, I have a personality. She hides in a trash can. And that's what really gives me away because this is an old game we have played many times before. Come on out, girlie. Last one out of the can is trash. Come on, the game's over and you're trash. Not only that, but it's time for something to eat. Come on now and let's take to the timber and find some coconuts where the nuts can be found. That vitamin medicine she gave me is building up an appetite, and I must have food. Ah, what's this? Makes a fine soup, she says, and she wants to stop and play with it. All right, I suppose I have to forget about lunch for a while. Come on, short legs, get on your feet and give me a ride or you'll be in the soup. Oh. So he has to be turned over, huh? Well, if we can't play leapfrog, we can play leap. Ah, this is too slow. I like action and I'm going to get it. Nobody's going to fool me this time. They can't put any of those iron coconuts up in the top of this tree or I'm a monkey's uncle. Boy, will I have pep after this feast. Ah, here we are. Look out below. Now for one more nice, fat, juicy one. Watch it down there. Of course, if I had accidentally conked somebody on the coconut with one of them, that would have made things easier for me. But no such luck. I just don't seem to get a break. Ah, at last. Monkey heaven is just one big coconut with enough coconut milk to swim in, because no chimp on earth ever had all he wanted. This is one coconut that will never decorate the top of a custard pie or get into a candy bar. But it will be. Now the girlfriend says she has a treat for me. So we'll see what's cooking. 
Uh huh. The girl's friend's little sister. This is something new. But a chimp can eat anything she can do. Just let me look on for a while, and even I can learn table manners. But it seems silly to drink the hard way. Well, here's for a try. But nothing happens. That proves it's silly. The more a chimp sees of people, the more certain he is that it's better to be a chimp than a chump. Tastes like that vitamin stuff again. To drink out of a glass. Bottoms up and down the hatch. Now look at here, girlie. I like your company, and this is a fast-moving chair. But I'm not getting anywhere fast. You're a little too quiet for me. I'm beginning to want some action. Can't spend a vacation like a chump. So it's time for me to leave you. I'll be seeing you. Nobody home. These queer cages that people live in have all kinds of nice things to play with. Here's something the girlfriend likes more than she does me. I'll fix it. Can you imagine loving a thing like that, huh? Go to sleep, you dope. Oh, so you won't talk, huh? Now, here's something really nice. I think I'll look into this and find out what makes it so nice and soft. Oh, feathers. They're nice and soft, but they tickle, especially when they get into your nose. A little more of this and I'll look like I ought to be able to lay an egg. Must have taken the feathers off a whole flock of geese to make this pillow. Ah, oh, well. One day it's coconuts, next day it's feathers. This is what I call getting the bird. That's not all I'm going to get when they find out. Oh, well, it's a soft life after all, and I'm a softy. would have to show up. I hope they get the vacuum cleaner. That's just what I need to make my day perfect. Watch what I do with it. The girls think the vacuum cleaner will quickly gather up all the feathers. But watch what it does with the switch in reverse. fun anyway, and it all goes to show that fun is like trouble. If you look for it, you'll find it, and sometimes fun and trouble both. Who says fine feathers don't make fine birds? I'll leave it to you. Well, a vacation certainly puts a chimp in fine feathers.